Bishop Whitehead. Oh. <laughs> Sacrifice is quality. Damn, man. Yeah. Damn. Found got guilty. Him. Found, they found, got him. Found, found guilty. They got him. Last time I seen him was outside of Summer Jam. He was doing too much. He was, he was convicted. Spoke to him? No, oh. nigga. I don't know, nigga. You be knowing a lot of niggas. I don't. I don't he was cool with uh, not, not that I wouldn't speak to him, but I don't know. He's supposed to be cool with uh, the mayor, right? Eric Adams and him was supposed to be. Yeah, like, they said that he was fronting. That was part of the. Yeah, they okay. said they used his relationship with Eric Adams to scam mm -hmm. people. Scam people. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't know if he really knows him or not. True. Uh, let's see here. Bishop Lamore Whitehead, a Brooklyn preacher known as the Bling Bling Bishop due to his live stream church robbery <laughs> and flashy luxury lifestyle, was found guilty on all charges in Manhattan federal court on mm -hmm. Monday. Bishop Whitehead was charged with defrauding an elderly parishioner and trying to extort a businessman while boasting about his ties to NYC Mayor Eric Adams. Mm. Bishop Whitehead, 45, was convicted of two counts of wire fraud, each, which, uh, each of which carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison, Shit. one count of extortion, which carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison, and one count of making material false statements, which carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison. Uh -huh. The feds proved Bishop Whitehead persuaded one of his elderly parishioners, Pauline Anderson, to invest about 90 grand of her retirement savings with him, but Fuck. used the money to support his flashy luxury lifestyle. Uh, Bishop Whitehead's sentencing is set for July 1, 2024. That's some sick shit. They got him. They got him. He, was, hey, he was trying to sue niggas, too. Because why, why? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. He was trying to sue niggas. Like, he was trying to sue Miss Jones. He was trying to sue people that spoke about. Call him a scammer? Yeah, that called him a scammer. And they got him. You know what I mean? And I think that it's unfortunate. No, I think it's fortunate, but it's unfortunate that people, older people, have to suffer that. You know what I mean? In retirement. Yeah. And stuff like that is like about all the, he, to prey on them. There's probably a bunch of people that he got for shorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can't really sue or wouldn't be worth suing. That's foul. They was <laughs> sorry. They were saying to people, <laughs> some of the scammers in Jamaica, <laughs> they would call and get the old people to spend some money out of their retirement fund, but they would get them about two or three times. So I laugh because I, it, it's. It's not funny. It's fucked up to prey on old people, mm -hmm. but it's kind of funny to me. I'm sorry Wait. that you even trying to do some bullshit like that. It's kind of fucked up that because it, it's like how you get the same person, how you get the same person three times. That 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 was a thing. They got a whole documentary on that shit, and they show the people in in the Caribbean calling the same people and getting them fifty well, here, yeah. forty here, the same. I don't want it to be my grandmother. It's my grandmother, and anybody old is fucked up. But it's funny. The lens that people will go. Well, we'll what's fucked money. up about his scam is that yeah. he's using the church. The church. church. Yeah, he's using God. And when yeah, you yeah, get yeah. old, you kind of want to pour everything into the church. Your, your, your church, True. your religion, True. and you think in the afterlife True. you do these things, you're going to. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, I'm, let, I'm letting you get your church bars on. Him? Yeah. What? I'm just saying. Like, I, I, I a think lot that's of the. church is a scam. Well, no, the church is a scam, but most when you of the have people, a right? But when you have most of the people who believe in these establishments, they don't have a problem with putting their retirement funds into it because they believe that. Well, because really the giving. pastor's not up there in designer clothes every week. Like, True, they at least Rose try to hide a little shit. bit. Of it. Most of these pastors, are, is, I mean, nah, they not blinged out like him. He but. bugging. He bugging, but no, he bugging. But listen, I didn't know. I didn't. Not, not only did I not know that wire fraud carried such a lengthy charge, like twenty years per That's, per charge, mm -hmm. is, is a lot. It is. But I think wire fraud, my opinion only, is one of those charges where they don't be really wanting to see no black people come up here and try this. Like I think they're gonna really hang him out to dry for trying to do our white people shit. The white collar, oh, the white collar, yeah. Yeah, and and we'll see July one, but. Okay. I think they're gonna learn him. Like, how dare you be this dignified to do, get this shit off? Well, he tried to do that. Then he, you know, he 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 mm -hmm. did that fake robbery to get the insurance money. That like, come bad. on, like, like he's he been doing a lot. Yeah, he did he, a lot. He been he's he's been doing a lot. That robbery was bullshit. Like <laughs> Stevie won in the basement because he threw that shit, man. That robbery was nasty. Oh, so. man. He tried to do that, like he you did. know. It is what it is. And, and then he tried to sue niggas. On top of that, if you called him a scammer. And I don't know that he has no connection to Eric Adams. In fact, this story makes me believe that he has every connection 100%. to Eric. I don't trust Eric Adams at all. He is a nut. A lot. Okay, so wait, stop. Hold up. He is a nut. Because I've been having this conversation. What's the problem with Eric Adams? Why y'all don't fuck with him? I think I just said this last part. 
Uh, I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. Uh, wow, you don't listen to us when you're not here? I was wow. very sick. I was in the hospital. Mm, wow. I was in the hospital. Yeah, this the only job you missed. Yeah. No, I missed a, I didn't go to you work. You was at all your other jobs. No, I wasn't. It was Insta Live and I seen you. I was at Insta Live, but I wasn't at, you know. But stop, stop talking about that. That's about Eric Adams. Uh, <laughs> what, did I, what did I say? Eric Adams, stop and frisk. Uh, stop and frisk went up. That's horrible. Uh, the, the lawsuits that need to be paid, the lawsuits and civil suits that need to pay, be paid out from police brutality and all that other shit is at some astronomical number. I think niggas is, is living off of that number. I think mm. that I think that numbers are being ran up so that people could do what they used to do at Def Jam with the budgets. Mm. Ooh. That's what I think. I, I think I, Eric Adams has a lot of wild shit going on. I'm not even talking about him versus Houston, his stance on the migrants. Like, he has a lot of foul mm -hmm. shit. He, he ain't been good for New York at all. I don't see it anyway. New Joe Biden. <laughs>